Grey Warden tent is across the bridge. Find me there. You must be the Grey Warden recruit that... This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Good luck to you, then. You there, Elf. What's your name? Oh. It, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turn Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes, sir. Right, right away, sir. We must see to our hounds. To an ash warrior, the hound is as much Hmm. This isn't good. I hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. This is a Mabara, smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds anytime soon? There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood-red center. If he doesn't get it, chances are he'll need to be put down. It usually grows in dead wood that collects at the edge of ground pools. Should be plenty this time of year. If he doesn't get it, chances are he'll need to be put down. The wilds are off limits to non-soldiers, and I have many other hounds under my care. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. Good folk of Ferelden, and we contemplate the death that may await. Death is no failure, my friends. Should it find you, you will not have failed. Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynn, one of the mages summoned by the king. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, Others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Devinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now.
A wise attitude. It's worked well for me in the past. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. In the name of Andraste, I bless you. You! You need to convince them. We've got to run! The Darkspawn are coming! The Grey Wardens will die. The King will die. We'll all die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. Only to himself, poor fellow. His wounds will heal, but his mind... You... you can feel it, can't you? They taint the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. They'll come out of that forest and spread. Like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? Then I bless you, Grey Warden, in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the chant of light carry your name to the ears of our Lord. Sorry, the main army camp is off limits for you right now. Greetings. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. Sir Jury is my name. I hail from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arl Eamon. I wasn't aware dwarves could be Grey Wardens. I've only seen a few of your folk in the castle dealing with the smithy. Of course, my father was the castle smith, so I encountered dwarves through him. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the Wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? I fought hard to get here. Impressing Duncan was not easy. Tell me, has anyone told you what this joining ritual entails? I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. They're going to kill us all. Kill us and then eat us. So, any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some darkspawn spear this time tomorrow. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. Oh, me and Sir Knight were just betting on what the third recruit would be. Not a dwarf, yet here you are. The name's Dabbeth. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they'd cook this ritual up just for our benefit. <laughs> that depends on what kind of life you've led. Me, I'm perfectly willing to accept that this joining is some kind of punishment. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see? And I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. Chasing barbarians, yes. Cannibals, and witches too. My home village isn't far, and I grew up on tales about the wilds. Even been in there a few times. <laughs> Scary place. Sounds like some kind of test. Maybe we'll hunt us a souvenir or two. It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see, <laughs> like we have a choice. I suppose I could do that. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. How do you do? Finished. Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or by the maker up. Ah, oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Welcome, young man. I am one of the tranquil, my friend. 
I am of the circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the tranquil to work with lyrium so. A true mage could not. Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. It might seem such to you, but I feel no horror. I am content to serve in my role. You might feel differently were you a mage. Our forehead is branded with magic, which stills our talent and mind. The process is irreversible as far as I am aware. You do? I feel nothing. As the name suggests, my existence is quite peaceful. I am alive, productive, and no danger to anyone. Surely that is not a terrible thing. Perhaps we may speak of something else. Do you need assistance? Goodbye. I'm sorry, but there's so much. Ah, it wasn't so bad. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. You never know, these mages sneak up on you. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit, from Orzammar. I should have recognized you right away, I apologize. Did Duncan mention me? Nothing bad, I hope. 
As the junior member of the order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Right, that was the name. Hmm. There haven't been any dwarven Grey Wardens in some time. You must know a lot about Darkspawn. Someone like you? The recruit Duncan's been bragging endlessly about? Yes, completely untrustworthy. But don't worry, you'll see plenty of Darkspawn now. And probably sooner than you'd like. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. You do? Huh, that's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Yes? What about? The one tomorrow. I'll tell you, it's Tan Loghain we should be looking to win it, not the king. Kaelin just wants his place in history. The Tairn is planning the strategy. Uh, that's my opinion, anyway. I guess I should be thankful the king favors us Grey Wardens. But I know who's keeping the lid on the pot. You know, that's a good question. The other Grey Wardens are riding into battle with the king. I don't know if you'll be with them. If we don't break the horde here, Duncan says it will spread until it engulfs all of Ferelden. Then it will take an alliance of nations to fight it. Which would be bad. Neither the King nor the Tairn really seems to believe this is a real blight, however. I'm sure Tairn Loghain has the battle planned to the last detail. Still, no blight has ever been defeated with so little cost. We're at the edge of the Korkari Wilds, the eye of the Blight Storm, right where the Horde will be coming. Ostagar itself is an excellent defensive position. The Wilders were pushed back from here time and again in ancient days. You want to ask me about something else? I wish I could tell you more. Maybe ask me again after Duncan speaks to you about it. You want to ask me about something else? Duncan is the leader of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden. Which he would say doesn't mean much, as there aren't many of us here. Yet, beyond that, he's a good man. A good judge of character. I owe him a lot. What about you? What do you think of him? That sounds familiar. He's done the best he can with what little he has. And that includes me, I guess. You want to ask me about something else? Of course. Thousands, tens of thousands. They've had centuries to build up their numbers. The Grey Wardens keep watch. We feel the dark spawn when they come. You'll understand after the joining, if you... S well, you'll understand. Not to mention people start to notice when Darkspawn pour out of the wilds and taint everything around them. Just a guess. We chop off the snake's head. It's the only way. According to texts, the most famous Grey Warden leader, Garahel, killed the Archdemon Underal in personal combat at the Battle of Aesley to end the Last Blight. Without the Archdemon to command them, the Darkspawn flee back underground. You want the Chantry's version, or the truth? The truth is, we don't really know. They come up from the ground, and that's as far as we've gotten. According to the Chant of Light, the Maker imprisoned the old gods underground long ago, as punishment for tricking mankind into worshipping them. The old gods still whispered to some men, and taught them magic. These men became the Magisters of the Tevinta Empire. The Magisters used their gift to enter the Golden City, tainting it and themselves. They were cast out by the Maker and became the first Darkspawn. They fled underground, bringing their taint to their gods. The tainted old gods were the Archdemons who rose from their prisons and led the Darkspawn against the world. Yes, and it nearly wiped us out. When defeated, the Darkspawn flee back underground and seek out another old god to taint, thus bringing another blight. The old gods were dragons, so the stories say. Big ones. 
intelligent even. The Tevinter Empire had big statues of them. Each dragon had a name and a place in the cosmos. It's all very intricate. The Archdemons may not be the old gods, but they're definitely dragons. You're a dwarf. You tell me. Your people have been trying that for just about ever, haven't they? They've controlled the deep roads ever since they defeated the Dwarven Kingdoms. Even if we invaded, we can only chase them so far. The Grey Wardens killed so many Darkspawn by the end of the Last Blight. People decided they were gone for good. We haven't seen it yet. People are beginning to think this is just an unusually large Darkspawn raid without an Archdemon to unify them. But seriously, the Archdemon could be in the wilds or underground. It could be hiding. Just because it hasn't shown itself doesn't mean it isn't out there. Of course. You want to ask me about something else? Of course. You want to ask me about something else? So I imagine. What would you like to know? King Marek, Kaelin's father, reaffirmed the power the Grey Wardens were given during the Blights. In practice, we can't conscript too often without hurting our cause. We were exiled from Ferelden once. Best not to let that happen again. The others are camped with the King's soldiers in the valley. The King's given us a position of honor at the Vanguard, despite our small numbers. I think Kaelin is actually excited to ride into battle with us. Maybe he thinks that's what his father would have done. Well, let's see. Surely you've heard of Weisselpt Fortress? The great Eyrie carved into the White Cliffs far off in the Anderfels? That's where the Grey Wardens once kept their griffins. The griffins died out, however, and our numbers have dwindled since the last blight. There's only a handful left in Ferelden. A few more in other nations. The Grey Wardens are warriors without equal. Darkspawn threatened to destroy the world four times over, each time the Grey Wardens led mankind to victory. Nobody knows more about Darkspawn, and nobody's better equipped to deal with them. You'll see. Trust me. I don't know if I'd go that far. Duncan says the Grey Wardens do whatever is necessary to protect mankind from Darkspawn. That means some pretty extreme things. Whatever it takes to bring victory. You want to ask me about something else? Then let's get a move on, shall we? Maker above, hear the prayers of your sons and daughters. We who betrayed your father are God. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. You're right, Duncan. I apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. For the joining itself, I'll explain more once you've returned. Now, of course, you must work together to collect the components, however. It's as much a part of the joining as what comes after. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. No, but the effort must be made. I have every confidence you are up to the task. The scrolls contain treaties promising support. Treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return.
Hail. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. came for and head back to Duncan. Is that... Grey Wardens? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please, help me. I've got to... return to camp. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Oh. I... I've got to get out of here. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. I am simply trying to stay alive. You do not see me fleeing, do you? A bit of fear isn't unnatural, you know. Few relish meeting Darkspawn up close. I know I don't. Bloodthirstiness is such a charming feature, too. Did you know that? Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. That is reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on.
Yes? I grew up in a village about a day's trip to the east. Little blot you wouldn't even find on a map. Haven't been back in years. I struck out for the city as soon as I could outrun my pa. I've been in Denerim for, what, six years now? Never liked it much, but there's more purses there than anywhere else. And a pickpocket, thank you very much. Or was, anyhow. Who'd ever guess I'd end up a Grey Warden? I found them. I cut Duncan's purse while he was standing in a crowd. He grabs my wrist, but I squirm out and bolt. The old bugger can run, but the garrison caught me first. I'm a wanted man in Denerim, you see, so they were going to string me up right there. Duncan stopped them, invoked the right of conscription. I gave the garrison the finger while I was walking away. Don't know why Duncan wants someone like me, but he says finesse is important and that I'm fast with a blade. <laughs> you bet your boots I am. Besides, it beats getting strung up. <laughs> All right for an old bugger. He's faster than he looks, too. We still have to find those documents. I've never heard of a tower that stood for more than ten years in this forest. Hey. I am ready. I hail from Redcliffe, but Duncan recruited me in Hyover, a city off the northern coast. Have you travelled there? I was in Arl Eamon's retinue when he attended King Marek's funeral. It was in Hyover that I met my Helena. I was smitten. She has the most beautiful eyes, my Helena. Now, for years I found any excuse to return there. We married a year ago. Arl Eamon gave me leave to serve in Hyover, but I was attempting to persuade Helena to come to Redcliffe with me, at least until I was recruited. Never. I will return to her once my duty is done and the Blight defeated. Last month, Duncan visited Hyover, and the ban held a tournament in his honor. I won the Grand Melee. It was hard to leave my wife. We married only a year ago, and she is heavy with child now. But Ferelda needs my blade, and I shall not falter. He has a seemingly impossible task, with a scarce handful of Grey Wardens, yet he does not complain or flinch from his duty. We should find those documents, although if they were so important, indeed. What have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder, come into these darkspawn-filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? Is a tower no longer. The wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping in. Bad. She's a witch of the wild, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there, dwarf. You have nothing to fear from any witch. Tell me your name, and I shall tell you mine. Let us be civilized. Now that is a proper civil greeting, even here in the wilds. You may call me Morrigan. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? 
Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Twas my mother, in fact. Hmm. There is a sensible request. <laughs> I like you. I'd be careful. First it's, I like you. But then zap. Frog time. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dabbit. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Does your dwarven mind give you a different viewpoint? What do you believe? A statement that possesses more wisdom than it implies. Be always aware. Or is it oblivious? I can never remember. So much about you is uncertain. And yet I believe. Do I? Why, it seems I do. So, this is a dreaded Witch of the Wilds. Witch of the Wilds, huh? Morrigan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> they did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True, they came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Such manners. Always in the last place you look. Like stockings. Oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. Mabari's stable for now, but not improving. Unless I get that herb I told you about, there's no... Let me see. Yeah, that's exactly it. Wonderful. Yeah, give me a moment and I'll make this into an ointment. He looks better already. I'm sure he'd thank you himself if he could. Let's give him a day or two to recover. Why not come back after the battle? Perhaps we can see about imprinting him on you. Maybe. It's likely he understands you're responsible for curing him. Mabari are at least as smart as your average tax collector. Come back after the battle and just... Well, take another look. So, you returned from the wilds. Have you been successful? Good. I've had the Circle Mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now rather than later. 
If only such secrecy were unnecessary, and all understood the necessity of such sacrifice. Sadly, that will never be so. Let's go then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the Blight. You saw those Darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I... am. Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the Darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures? As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. Child, had I known... There is no turning back. No. You ask too much. Th there is no glory in this. I am sorry. But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was... horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? Jory was warned that there was no turning back, as were you all. When he went for his blade, however, he left me no choice. 
it brought me no pleasure to end his life. The Blight demands sacrifices from us all. Thankfully, you stand here as proof they are not all made in vain. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the Darkspawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the King. The King is discussing strategy for the upcoming battle. I am not sure why he has requested your presence. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. Loghain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Caelan. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the recruit I met earlier on the road? I understand congratulations are in order. Oh, but you are. Every Grey Warden is needed now more than ever. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Caelan. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Archdemon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we will of not Major... trust any lives to your spells, mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Caelan. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Tern Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch just in case, right? That is not your choice. If King Caelan wishes Grey Wardens to ensure the beacon is lit, then Grey Wardens will be there. We must do whatever it takes to destroy the Darkspawn, exciting or no. I get it, I get it. Just so you know, if the King ever asks me to put on a dress and dance the Remigold, I'm drawing the line. Darkspawn or no. I have my dignity. Well, some. Hmm. The tower is on the other side of the gorge from the King's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. 
I will be fighting beside the King with the rest of the Grey Wardens. Again, at his request. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. We soil our drawers, that's what. If it does, leave it to us. I want no heroics from either of you. Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. The battle is about to begin. Once I leave, move quickly. You'll have less than an hour. Of course, even the best laid plans go awry. So do what you must. I trust you both. Just not enough to actually fight with the rest of you. <laughs> there will be plenty of battles, Alistair. Be patient. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan, may the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. it will. The blight ends here. Cross the bridge and get to...
know me. They're everywhere. You, you're Grey Wardens, aren't you? The tower, it's been taken. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves.
Make his breath. What are these Darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the Horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. Right, because clearly this is all just a misunderstanding. We'll laugh about this later. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Taren Loghain will be waiting for the signal. Gain better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is depending on us.
is done. Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not... Do as I command. Is finally open. Mother shall be pleased.
I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and we are in the wilds where I am bandaging your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? Mother managed to save you and your friend, though t'was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. As you like. Mother is outside with your friend. She wished to see you when you awoke. I... You were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. He is, as you are. I suppose it would be unkind to say he is being childish. I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. I do not mind. Take your time. She turned into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, one in each talon. If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother yourself. She may even tell you. Only stragglers that are long gone. You would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. Are you sure you want me to describe it? I had a good view of the battlefield. Tis a grisly scene. There are bodies everywhere and darkspawn swarm them, feeding, I think. They also look for survivors and drag them back down beneath the ground. I cannot say why. I do not know who this Loghain even is. Perhaps ask Mother of it. We are safe, for the moment. Mother's magic keeps the Darkspawn away. Once you leave, tis uncertain what will happen. The Horde has moved on, so you might avoid it. I wonder at that myself. But she tells me nothing. Perhaps you were the only ones she could reach. I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. I am only being practical. I agree. Tis time you speak with Mother, then be on your way. I am unable to do that. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You. You're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name. Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The... Flemeth? From the legends? Davath was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? If you know what is good for you, I suppose you should. Well. We cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Wardens' duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon.
All Grey Wardens in Ferelden are gone. Except for us. I've lost everyone. For the love of the Maker, don't back out on me now. Maybe it would help to think that it could have been you out there. We can't let their deaths be in vain. The throne? He's the Queen's father. Still, I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The Landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. The Isle would never do what Tan Logain did. I know him too well. I still don't know if Arl Eamon's help would be enough. He can't defeat the Darkspawn Horde by himself. You have more at your disposal than you think. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. No, no, thank you. You are the Grey Wardens here, not I. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve, or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the Horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite Ferelden against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. I may have answers. Ask. Twas she who raised me, and thus I consider her my mother, born from her womb or not. Tis what you meant, yes? Mother was alone long before I came, and will be so long after I am dead. Such is her choice, though I suspect she would claim the choice was made for her. From time to time, I have been to the village I mentioned, 
watched its people and pondered what curious beings they are. On occasion, I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared and knew me as an outsider. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. Even she was not born here. What I want is to see mountains. I wish to witness the ocean and step into its waters. I want to experience a city rather than see it in my mind. So, yes, this is what I want. Actually, leaving is harder than I thought, however. Perhaps Mother is right. It must simply be done quickly. The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the Darkspawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the Darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. You won't right away. No. It takes time. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent Darkspawn, will always detect us. Mother has given me something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. It is important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. I know a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can cook, yes. Right, my cooking will kill us. That's all I meant. I also know at least 15 different poisons that grow right here in this marsh. Not that I would suggest it is at all related to cooking. It is a small place of little consequence called Lothering. No more than a stop along your Imperial Highway where travelers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. A chantry? And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch? Of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. I mention it for its tavern, where travellers gather with news from other places. Tis small enough that our appearance might go unnoticed. Beyond that, tis close, and I know the way. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Oh, tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. The time has come to leave the wilds. Do you not agree? And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Bannon will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone.
Antigon, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Antigon, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your Majesty? I think he was out there looking for you. He's chosen you. Mabari are like that. They call it imprinting. Does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following us about now? Wonderful. He's not mangy. 